Good morning, folks. Another day, another calm one on our star. However, the stage is now set for fireworks on the sun while a coronal magnetic field shift lessens the current earthquake warning. Let's see how it all plays out. We'll begin with solar flaring. Not more than some mid-range sea flares. Our departing sunspot group is building back a bit today but is already halfway out the door. Meanwhile, we've got an awesome grouping of sunspots incoming on the north huge umbras, and with clear magnetic interaction. More to come when they get more visible to Earth. These are the sunspots that Stephen Shaw tracked across the backside, and in the last few days, it has peaked out its power reading as the strongest sunspot of the entire solar cycle. One active region, 1,000 umbral magnetic field loops, and some major flare potential. But before it gets into position, we've got filaments out ahead of it. See the thin rope dancing out in front of the bright field loops near the sunspots. We indeed have filaments north and south, with the last day for the filament extending from the coronal hole, and one day until the incoming ropes can make their way to the earth-facing fourth of our star. Three days of solar wind telemetry here show dropping intensity, except for a phi angle flux. Thus far, the magnetic system is calming, and the shield is fine, but we will be on watch. And speaking of watches, how about the earthquake watch? That sector boundary in the solar wind will help, but our growing force in the southern coronal hole began vanishing last night, leaving that southern coronal hole a moderate factor only. Beyond that, the coronal hole structures are changing as a coronal field shift is playing with the northern opening here. Top article of the day discusses changes coming to our understanding of universal expansion and dark matter. They haven't yet figured out it's electric, but it's a good step in the right direction. Two website notes. Yesterday's fly on the wall session nailed all the major points of Earth's magnetic pole shift and was one of the better discussions yet this year. Second, we repelled a DDoS attack two days ago and are still reeling a bit. If you have problems getting suspiciousobservers.org to load, please let us know. Got a cyclone still bumbling around here while that new storm, Cyclone Solo, is taking on the islands east-northeast of Australia. To the south, that same remnant low will draw in moisture from the west that will be partially stolen by a high-pressure cell and wrapped further east to New Zealand. Here's how it looks in the clouds. High pressure driving atmospheric moisture towards the U.S.-Canada border, and tonight's alerts will not be any fun in this area at all. Heavy snow warnings near Vancouver. To the east, we see that same gulf moisture coming up to meet with cloud flows that are coming out of the west, which mix together nicely and give us our storm warnings tonight. Hopefully we won't have tornadoes, but with this energy and those sunspots, our storms will intensify in the area soon. In Europe, a system of pressure nodes and convergences brings the top watch as a cloud line over the UK that bends up towards the northernmost low. You'll see that easily on satellite. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open, no fear. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.